It looks like Tony Petiti and the Big Ten are working on a plan to try and get more Big Ten teams in the expanded college football playoff. What is that plan? Well, we're going to talk about it, and I'm going to tell you what the Big 12 can do, if anything, to compete with this new plan. We're going to have that discussion right after this word from my sponsor. Ladies and gentlemen, this episode is brought to you by Dutch Miller Automotive, where friends and family pricing means you get the best deal right up front on any new or pre-loved vehicle in stock every time. With brands like Chevrolet, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Kia, Hyundai, Ford, GMC, Buick, and Subaru, the Dutch Miller Automotive family is always growing and ready to put you in the car or truck you've been searching for. Check out our inventory across West Virginia at DutchMillerAuto.com or come in today to the home of friends and family pricing only at a Dutch Miller Automotive store near you. What is up? Come in, make yourself at home, and let me pour you out this shot of college football content. On tap at Coos's Corner today, we are talking about the Big Ten and their plan to get more teams into the college football playoff. There was an article written in, over at ESPN by Mr. Adam Rittenberg, who had the privilege of sitting down with Tony Petiti and asking him a few questions. And in that interview, Petiti revealed what he's trying to do to strengthen his conference as far as how many at-large bids they can get into the CFP. Now, most of you probably know by now, the college football playoff is expanding, starting with the 2024 season, to 12 teams. Right now, they are at a, they have six automatic bids with conference champions. Then they're going to have six at-large as well. They're, the intent is to change that to a five automatic bid and seven at-large bids. Well, all of these conferences obviously want to get as many team, many of their teams in as possible. So, obviously, they want to get as many teams as possible in this college football playoff. Well, the Big Ten thinks that scheduling, the way they schedule their games, could play a part in that. And in this recent interview with Adam Rittenberg, which, by the way, I will link to in the description box, I'm going to share a little bit of the article with you, but not all of it. But, again, go to the link if you want to read the whole article once this show's over. But the title of this article is Tony Petiti, Big Ten Wants More Games with CFP Implications. As the College Football Playoff Management Committee continues discussions about the future of the sports postseason, Big Ten Commissioner Tony Petiti wants to ensure deeper conferences have access points that maximize the stretch run of the regular season. In a wide-ranging interview Wednesday with ESPN, Petiti said he is focused on ensuring the Big Ten, which will increase to 18 members with four West Coast editions this summer, has November schedules packed with games that carry CFP implications like many of the professional leagues do, which I'll touch on that in a minute. And here's a quote from Petiti. He says, we've got some work to do to figure out what that future model is, because obviously it has real impact on your regular season, Petiti told ESPN. You want to make sure that your teams have the ability to have a breakout season and qualify. And we also have to be realistic about what should get you access in terms of number of wins. Look, we want meaningful games late in the season. Now, I'm skipping part of the article, going uh, right to a a quote from Petiti here about this topic, but I thought this quote here was was important as far as the content of this video, so I wanted to touch on it, but here it is. It says, this is, again, this is a quote from Tony Petiti, the Big Ten Commissioner. We want fans to think that, you know, a game in the second week in November, even if you've already lost two or three games, still has a lot of value. That's the goal. When you're as deep as we are, we've got to do things to make sure that we have the access to the postseason that we think we deserve and has to be earned on the field. I'm a big believer in that, and that helps your regular season. More teams playing more meaningful games later in the season, I think we still can do more there. So Tony Petiti thinks that if they play more games, more big games in November than maybe they have in the past and not just have a front-loaded schedule, they will have a better chance of getting more teams in the college football playoff. Now, I actually think that's a great point because we have seen it in the past that the college football playoff committee sometimes does get recency bias, and they do look more at what you've done down the stretch. And it may also play, you know, what teams are playing better at the end of the season. It may not be recency bias as much as it is, hey, what teams are playing better at the end of the year. So whatever the case may be, Tony Petiti feels like that's the best way to move forward with his league a couple things there number one is he looking at strictly conference games here 
He talked about the conference being 18 teams deep. Does he want to play games like USC, Ohio State in November? Maybe, maybe Oregon and Wisconsin. You know, just throw out teams. There's enough big brand names in the Big Ten. They can have big games in November. And it seems to me here they're not, he's not talking about just rivalry week here. He's talking about early November games. And I got to thinking, what can the Big 12 do, if anything, to compete with that, with that strategy? And I don't really think there's anything they can do. I mean, think about it. If you've got Ohio State versus USC, as an example, or Penn State versus Oregon, or Wisconsin versus, I don't know, Michigan, whatever. Is there any game on the – in the Big 12, that could compete with those types of games, with those types of revenue or, or as far as or TV viewership numbers. I don't really think there is. And, I, I mean, I'm a Big 12 guy. You see I'm a West Virginia fan, right? You see the Big 12 logos on some of my, my memorabilia here. I'm a Big 12 fan. I'm a West Virginia fan. But I've also got to be realistic about where the Big 12 stacks up from a TV viewership standpoint and a revenue generation standpoint. In a brand standpoint, the Big 12 just doesn't have the blue blood brands and the name brands that the Big 10 has. So it's going to be hard to, to do that for the Big 12. Outside of rivalries. Now, maybe you could play rivalry games, which right now the Big 12 doesn't have, but it, what, four protected rivalries in the conference? Maybe they protect more rivalries, but they're really, to be honest, there's not that many rivalries in the conference. I mean, you've got the Holy War. You've got the one of the most ridiculous names I've ever heard. What is the blue bonnet game game or blue bonnet bowl or whatever between TCU and Baylor. You have Farmageddon with Kansas state and Iowa state, which by the way, they didn't even protect, which I think is absolutely ludicrous. You have Kansas and Kansas state. That's really about it. I mean, you don't really have that many Arizona, and Arizona state can't leave that one out, but you really don't have that many rivalries in the conference. And you don't want to play them all in November. You want to, you know, I think it's best to stagger them out a little bit, right? I know a lot of fans want the games to be all on rivalry, rivalry week, but I just don't think that's a good idea either. But I just – so I, if that's the strategy, I'm not sure the Big 12 – really all they can do there is just hope for the best, play the games on their schedule and hope for the best. Then I got to thinking, you know, Tony Petiti mentioned in there he wants to do what the pro teams do or something more like the pro teams do. In that same article, it went on to talk about the working group that the Big Ten and SEC are forming, where Sankey and Petiti are getting together, trying to forge a path forward, as I think they said, for the for college athletics. You know, what is best for everybody? Well, a lot of people are assuming they're just going to come up with what's best for their leagues. I don't think many people trust these two guys or these two leagues as far as they can throw them. But, but nonetheless... Let's just say for the sake of conversation, you know, Petiti mentioned the pro model a little bit here, or at least he hinted at it. What does the pro model do? Well, the NFL teams don't do like college teams. You normally play your non-conference games, then your conference games, and then your postseason. NFL, they stagger them out. So maybe could we see a scenario here where the SEC and Big Ten as part of this working group decide we need to have our teams playing each other more, and we need to do that in November. You could get Alabama, Ohio State in November. You could get Georgia and Michigan. You could get Ole Miss and Wisconsin. You could get USC and Texas. USC, Oklahoma, boy, wouldn't that be a big one? Lincoln Riley versus Brent Venables. Is that part of the plan here? And I got to thinking, is there anything there the Big 12 could do? And I thought, well, the only thing they could even come close to doing would be to do a similar agreement with the ACC, do some sort of a scheduling agreement with the ACC. Maybe the ACC plays the Big 12. And I got to thinking, you do that there you do have a few rivalries you could work with. You've got the backyard brawl. Maybe you could move it from, you know, a September game to a November game. Maybe you play Cincinnati Louisville in November. That's a right, that's a rivalry. Something like that. But then I sit back and think, outside of Cincinnati and West Virginia, what other team in the, in the Big 12 has any rivals 
in the ACC that create meaningful matchups. I don't, you don't see a lot of it. So how would that really help the Big 12? I mean, you could play Kansas State versus North Carolina State. It's interesting. I would want to watch that game. But does it stack up to Ohio State versus USC or Wisconsin versus Ole, Ole Miss or Texas versus Michigan? I mean, just throw out games that the Big Ten or SEC could put together. The ACC and Big 12 just cannot put the same types of games on television. But, I mean, there's a handful that can compete, but not many. So if the Big Ten goes down this road, I don't really know that there's anything the Big 12 can do to compete with that. Now, is it a strategy that will even work? I'm not sure. At the end of the day, it's all going to come down to how good your teams are. So I want to hear your thoughts on this. You let me know what you think about this strategy by the Big Ten, and is it a smart strategy? Is there something you think the Big 12 could do to – like their own scheduling strategy that might work to help at least get close to what the Big Ten is doing? Should the ACC and Big 12 form a scheduling alliance and schedule games against each other late in the season? Do you think that would make things more interesting? I want to hear what you think in the comment section. Want to give, want to take this opportunity right now to give a shout out to some new channel members, some new VIP channel members here at Coos's Corner. VIP. Those new members are Mountaineer Mama, Houston Cougars, Germany, and Chris D. Thank you for joining Kuz's Corner. Also want to give a shout out to Andrew Smith and Timbo, two other members of Kuz's Corner. Thank you for being paid VIP members. If you want to join this list, hit the join button below. It's an easy way to support my work here on the channel. Another way to support my channel and also support your favorite student athletes on it in our trading cards. Go to onitathlete.com, use the link in my description box, get yourself some Onit Athlete trading cards. The players get 60% of the profits through NIL. I'll make a small commission, and you get yourself some really cool trading cards similar to the ones on the screen now. They do have more teams available than just West Virginia. They might have your team. So go to onitathlete.com and see if your team's available. And they do have a few other sports, too, other than just football. So go check it out. If you want to see a video where I rank the top quarterbacks in the Big 12 Conference going into 2024, Watch this one right here. Have a top shelf day in Q Country Roads.